Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to group components to make it easier to select and edit them in the 3D world. To get started, you can load any layout you want, but I'm going to quickly build a layout in the 3D world. I'll go to the eCatalog panel, and under Models by Type, I'll click Feeders, then add a basic feeder to the layout. I'll then expand Conveyors, click Visual Components, and double click this item here called Conveyor. This automatically connects the conveyor to the feeder I had selected. I'll then go to my eCatalog panel again and do a search of shuttle. And I found one item. This is a shuttle conveyor, so I'll drag it into my layout. I'll then plug the shuttle conveyor into the end of the conveyor here at this interface. And there's an available interface over here on this side, so let's actually select the feeder. I'll hold in the control key and add the conveyor to my selection. And I'll use this shortcut here called clone on the mini toolbar to quickly copy and paste the selected components. I'll now plug those copied components into the interface over there. And let's now add and connect some conveyors to these interfaces on this side of the shuttle conveyor. So I will select this conveyor first, hold in the control key and add this conveyor to my selection. I'll then clone the components and plug them into those available interfaces. But we still have one more interface available, so I will select this conveyor here, right click and copy it to the clipboard, right click and paste from the clipboard to add a new conveyor and plug it into that available interface. Now whenever you want to add components to a new group you first need to select them in the 3D world. So I will select this conveyor here and then add this conveyor to my selection. I'll then go to the clipboard and click this command here called group. So this will add the selected components to a new group and when I select one of those components in that new group notice it selects all the other components in that same group. So I now have both of these conveyors selected. I can go to the component properties panel and change their conveyor type property to be belt. Now in some cases you may want to select a component but not its group. So if I select the group first and then select the component again, notice that's how you can directly select a component in a group. So you first select the group and then select that component. In some cases you want to add components to an already existing group. To do that, first select the group and then add the components to your selection. So I'll hold the control key and add this shuttle conveyor to my selection. And to group the shuttle with these two conveyors, I'll go back to the clipboard and click Group. So if I clear the selection and select the shuttle conveyor, notice it also selects these other two conveyors. Now if you make a mistake or you no longer want components to be grouped together, you can ungroup them. To do that, first select the components you want to ungroup. So I want to keep these two conveyors in the same group, but I want to ungroup the shuttle conveyor. So I'll select the group first, then select the shuttle conveyor, I'll go to the clipboard and click ungroup. So now, when I select the shuttle conveyor, it doesn't select these other two conveyors, it just selects this one component. But if I select one of these conveyors first, it first selects the group of components that it has. So it selects both of these. But if I want to select maybe this conveyor, not the whole group, just select it there. All right, this concludes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com. And I hope you have a wonderful day.